Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to look at C++ classes. Um, classes have to do with object-oriented programming. I'm not going to dive deep into object-oriented programming in this video, but you guys can always read about that online. Anyway, if you watched my uh, last uh, tutorial, I think it was about C++ structs or C++ structures. And uh, the challenge that we, we took on in that video is, um, is actually very similar to the one we are going to do today. So again, we are going to have a class called students, which is going to gather um, the details of a particular student. And then we'll be able to retrieve data from that student and then also update some of the data from that student. So here they have an example where we have uh, the class name, access specifiers. This can be private, public, or protected if you are dealing with inheritance, but we are not dealing with that today. Only public and private that we're going to use. And this controls how we can access and update the data from our objects. Now, an object is an instance of a class. So we are going to create a class called students. It's going to have details. Uh, the details is going to have um, are the age, first name, last name, and standard. And then we'll, we're going to be able to use some functions to retrieve the age, um, set the age, retrieve the first name, set the first name, and so on. Now, uh, what they expect us to do in this challenge is actually um, uh, input some, um, some info in the, in the console. Uh, they're going to do that for us automatically. And then we have to print out that info, I believe. We have to store it in, the, uh, uh, in, in member variables of our student objects. And then we have to print them out using the to string function. Now, um, actually, let me change the uh, layouts of, of this right here. So I'm going to set it to full screen layout. I think this is better now. Okay, so we're gonna to have to create a uh, two string method. You can see here, it returns the string consisting of the above elements, all the values separated by comma. This is why you see this right here. Okay, so this is how the program is gonna run. First of all, we're gonna have an age and standard, and then we're gonna have a string, first name, last name. Now the first thing that comes to mind if you watch my previous video is that here we are inputting value. We are reading value from uh, the, the console. Okay, so we can, this is going to type a, a, an integer for the age, then a string for the first name, then a string for the last name, and then another integer for the standard. And then here we're going to create an instance of our student class. So st is an object. And then we are going to call these functions or these methods on that object. So we're going to say set the age for that. Um, student object to that value here. Now the age is what whatever the user inputs here. Now we're going to say set the standard for that student to whatever value that the user inputs here. You know when they input it uh, right here with the C in command. And we're going to do that the same way uh, with uh, first name and last name. And then when we are done, we're going to output that, uh, display that on the screen by calling the get age uh, function on the student object. And then we're going to call the get last name function on the student object and so on. And uh, when we are done with that, we're going to verify that by calling the to string uh, function on the student objects. So our job here is creating the class. Now, in order for you guys not to just sit down and uh, watch me uh, type, I have a bit of code here. So I'll be, uh, you know, just grabbing some of the code and pasting it, but I will explain everything that I'm doing. So the first thing that we have to do is write class, the keyword class, and the name of that class is students. Then curly brackets, and don't forget the semicolon here. Now the, uh, we have to deal with the access modifiers, what I showed you just here, public, private. So usually the convention is that member variables are private. You don't want, um, other part of your code to just modify them, you know, out of the box. So we're going to have private, and then we're going to have int age. Uh, what integer do we have else? Standard. Standard is also an integer. And then we're going to have a string uh, for the first name and last name. I cannot type anyway. And then the next thing is public. Now in C++, um, Usually when you, you create a class, uh, you need to um, add the constructor and uh, destructor. Now the constructor is what you use to initialize your member variables and the destructor is what you use to destroy your objects 
when the program stops running so that it just gets uh, cleared out of memory and you don't have things like memory leaks and all that. Uh, we don't have to worry about that, so I'm just going to have an empty constructor here. Students, just like that. Notice it does not have any return type because it's a constructor. Okay. Then here we're going to write our getters, which are the functions or the methods that we're going to use to retrieve data from our students objects when we create them later on in our main program. And then after that, we're also going to create our setters. The setters are the, um, the functions or the methods that we use to update or, or modify or set the values uh, of our member variables. And then uh, here I'm going to have the destructor. And this is how you write the destructor, basically. Yes, you have uh, this uh, tilde symbol, I believe it's called tilde. And then we have student, the name of the class. And just like that, an empty destructor. Okay, so uh, for the getters, I'm just going to grab this piece of code here and explain what we're doing. I'm going to paste it right there. So int, remember in my functions uh, video, again, when we were working with functions in the hacker rank challenge previously, I said uh, ne you need to pay attention to the return type. So when we call the get age uh, function in our program, in that, uh, in that part of the code here, we are, we are expecting the program to return us an integer, an int value. That is why you see this int as a return type of that, uh, of that of a function, because we are returning age, and age is an int member variable. And we're also doing the same thing for the get standard function, where we return the int standard value. And we're doing the same thing for string uh, and uh, you know the first name and the last name. Now for our setters, it's, it's a bit different, and I want to show you uh, something. So I'm going to paste this here. And again, setters are just updating and modifying values. So we don't need any return type. That is why you see void right here. So we are calling set age, and we are passing that function a parameter, an argument, actually. And then we are using that um, argument to update the value of our age uh, member variable here. And we are doing the same thing for um, you know the rest of the member variables. Now you might ask, um, if I go back here, what is this thing here? We have this, and then we have this arrow, and then we have age. What does that mean? Now notice here that the uh, name of my parameter age is the same thing as what I have here. So how does the program know um, which value refers to what exactly? So the way you tell the uh, program which uh, age we are talking about, you can use this. So th this keyword refers to that actual instance of the class. So we are saying the age member variable from this, this class right here, this instance, whenever we instantiate it, we want this age to be equal to that age parameter. So here we don't use this, okay? We, we just use age. We don't have to do this because otherwise you are just assigning its own value again. Doesn't make sense. Uh, now, the reason why we use an arrow and we don't use dots, like when we call um, we call functions on objects, it is because this here, like this keyword this actually refers to a pointer. Um, I talked briefly about pointers in one of my previous videos, but I will talk more about them. But just uh, for this video, what you need to keep in mind is that whenever you are calling uh, member variables or functions on pointers, you need to use arrow uh, arrow notations in C++, okay? If you use dots, then it's not a pointer, all right? Whenever you're dealing with pointers, then you need to use an arrow. So I'll talk more about that in uh, future videos. Anyway, um, next, moving on, we, we are doing the same thing here. This standard equals uh, this standard from the parameter. And then um, for uh, void set first name, we're not using this here because the name of the parameter is different from the member variable. So the program knows, the compiler knows that this and this are different. We don't need to specify or be explicit like we did here because they had the same name. So I hope you, you got that. If you don't get it, uh, just write down a comment below and then I will try and explain to you guys. And then finally here we have our destructor, which um, you know we just uh, clear memory uh, whenever we, our program is running. So I believe we have all the codes and actually we don't because we forgot the uh, to string string uh, methods. So um, I'm going to have string 
metal below like that. And I'm going to grab it here and paste it. And then I'm going to explain what exactly it is that we're doing. Uh, it looks like my um, indentation is a bit off. I'm going to try and beautify that a little bit. So we have this string to string. Uh, the return type is string. And then uh, here we have a uh, string variable called data. Now here, why do we have std to string? Is because inside the std namespace in C++, there is already a function called to string that has been defined for us. And we can use that function to transform ints uh, values, integer values into strings. Now notice that age here refers to that age member variable, which is an int. So if you want to concatenate that together in a string, we first need to convert that or turn that into a string. And for that, we need to use the to string method that is already defined for us in uh, the, uh, the standard library in C++. So if you forget that, for example, if I forget that, then now to string means that method, our own to string, you know, from um, our own program. We don't want that. We want the to string method from the standard uh, template library. So um, that's why we have this std colon colon. If you don't get it, please make sure you go back to one of my previous videos when I talked about um, std in uh, some of my first hacker rank challenge videos. Okay, so then we concatenate that with a colon uh, because we want to get the same uh, results as this right here. And then uh, we concatenate with the first name, another colon, the last name, another colon. And finally, we need to convert the standard, which is also an int um, variable here. We need to convert that into a string and concatenate it together. In the end, when we are done, don't forget to return that data variable, which is a string variable. That is why we have this string return type here. Okay, so when we are done, uh, I think now we, we can run our code. Let's see if we have any error and we pass the test, we get exactly the same values. Let us submit these codes to see if we pass all the uh, test cases. And I think we should. And yeah, we just did. So um, I hope this video wasn't too um, rushed for you. Um, just quick recap, we are creating a class, we have our private member variables here. And in the uh, public section here, under the public access modifier, we have uh, our getters, where we retrieve values uh, from our member variables. And then we have our setters, where we pass in um, values as parameters or arguments. In our program, they are arguments, but when we define them, they are parameters. Uh, so we pass in values, and then we associate those values, or we assign those values to those uh, these member variables. And then uh, when we are done, uh, we create our toString method here, and then we call toString from the std library to convert our int uh, values into strings before we concatenate them. And then when we are done, we return that, and uh, that's it. Uh, for the destructor and the uh, constructor, I will talk more about them uh, in a future video, hopefully. So uh, that's it for now. I don't want to stretch this uh, too much. Uh, if you like it, please make sure you uh, subscribe, you turn on your notifications by clicking the bell icon. Um, you Please leave a comment below, and I will catch you next time. Bye.